Hi, Genevieve Jacobs from Region Media with this week's news update, which comes from the Region Media offices. And we've all been doing first aid training here in the office, the entire region crew. Now, this is because only a few weeks ago, there was an accident out on Canberra Avenue, out the front here, where someone was the victim of a hit and run. And we were really struck by the importance of having people who are trained to be responders and who understand the basics of first aid. So Marcel Green is with me from First Aid Online. He's a first aid trainer. Marcel, terrific to have you in the office. Take us through the basics. What have you been teaching us about today? Uh, CPR is probably the most important one. Otherwise, um, all the things you'd usually go through with first aid, asthma, anaphylaxis, bleeding injuries, slings for soft tissue injuries and breaks, all those kind of things. Yeah, now this was actually pretty straightforward and pretty common sense, but I guess it really pays to get people thinking about how they need to respond in any given situation. Definitely. And if you have done a course recently, you're more likely to have that memory, that fresh memory of what to do when something happens happens, especially when it's a panic situation. Mm, and part of this is also ensuring that the site is safe, that people have called for help, that those basic things have been done as much as the treatment itself. And that's usually the first thing you do in first aid is to go through those steps because mm. they're very important. Now I know you work with lots of workplaces. How many people would have first aid training? Uh, not that many. Yeah, um, it's not too common. Um, I think it should be a lot more common, uh, but you'd be surprised it's not as many as you'd think. Yeah, and I guess there's always a tendency in emergency for people to think, oh, I don't know what to do and I don't even know where to start. Whereas what you've shown us today is fairly simple, fairly straightforward stuff. It's a matter of being knowledgeable and calm in the situation. And it gives people the confidence to have a better idea of what they should be doing. Mm. Now, this training is also partially available online. So take us through how that works. Yep, so First Aid Online, uh, the course is done entirely online. So all the training and all the questioning for a First Aid course is done through modules online and then the practical assessments that you do with all your CPR and your asthma and anaphylaxis, that's done through uh, a video conference call. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do it all from work or for all from home. Yeah, and look, actually, it is a fantastic feeling for us that we've now got a full office of journalists and business staff. All of our staff are now actually able to respond effectively if something does go wrong, which is terrific feeling for us. So I guess if we're in a situation where, once again, there's someone who has an accident, we're uh, in place when someone collapses for some reason, we'll actually be able to respond effectively as members of the community. And that that's something that's good for all of us. Yes, yep. And if you have people that are at home for a week with isolation, they could do their practical assessments online. If you have people in, in, in regional areas that would usually take a while to get a first aid trainer out there, that can all be done online as well. Yeah, and look, I do have to say that the only person who didn't participate was the head of HR, Mr. Smiggle, who has just wandered through. But, you know, his responsibility is to keep people calm and, and emotionally stable. Um, Marcel, it's, it's a terrific initiative. And I guess what we would look towards, this even included the use of the defibrillator is that every workplace, every office would take its staff through this. You were with us for around about an hour for a group of sort of 25 or 30 people. Yep. And so... It doesn't take that long. No, it doesn't take that long. It was it was straightforward. It was a pretty easy thing to do. And we're really being looking forward to being able to help people if that becomes necessary. Um, look, also making news this week on the site, we've been talking about the huge development plans for the Hellenic Club down at Woden, which will really transform that site. One of the most iconic sites in Canberra and certainly central to the whole Woden town centre. Also a lot of really interesting questions with ACT Health over the level of detail that they've been prepared to release during the pandemic. There have been some tough questions asked, many of them by the media, and ACT Health has actually signalled a change in direction. We've done some comparisons with how the ACT's health statistics match up with those from similar jurisdictions, Tasmania, the Northern Territory, but also from surrounding New South Wales, prompted some very interesting conversation, as has daylight saving. Whether you are for or against daylight saving, Ian Bushnell has written a polarising editorial that's divided people's opinions on whether we should just junk it because he's sick of the dark mornings or whether it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, weigh in, hundreds of people have. And uh, we've also been talking about the new Shepherd's Walk lookout from Gin and Derry. Beautiful walk down there in the new Gin and Derry development. Part of that was the River Corridor um, that they were mandated to maintain and a lot of people commenting that that's something that they really can't wait to do and part of that beautiful wilderness that's right at our doorstep here in the ACT. Uh, that's it from me. Join in our great big con Canberra conversation each week. We've got a weekly newsletter you can sign up for. It'll be in your inbox every Thursday. Also a daily digest. Come on the site. Join in our great big Canberra conversation about what's going on in this community, your stories, your people. Marcel, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, we've learned a lot. It was really, really useful. I'm Genevieve Jacobs. This is Region Media.